Welcome back to episode 2 of how you can start your online business from home in Papua New Guinea. I'm from Papua New Guinea, I'm doing it, so it will be it will all make sense if I say it to you. And we, we can, you relate with what I'm saying, we're on the same page. In this video we're going to run through the first uh, online business idea that you can start. It will take you through the whole process of creating a YouTube channel, not just owning the YouTube channel, but creating it and beginning to be active there and beginning to do something on it. YouTube is a platform that just stays on and on just like you have Facebook and Google. YouTube is the second highest platform where everyone in the whole world goes there to search for answers. And while PNG is yet to know the real use or the advantages of owning a YouTube channel, the world out there is doing so huge just out of a youtube channel and you can be a business owner just by owning a youtube channel choosing a topic this topic is just specifically for youtube it's not for any other platforms like for example it's not a topic that you're going to talk about on facebook as well it's a topic that you can advertise on facebook but talk about on youtube you don't talk about it in any other platform you only talk about it on youtube so it becomes your business with youtube Say for example, I am speaking on YouTube, making videos about how you can make money online. That's the topic, making money online, digital journey, all about digital products, how you can generate money while you're online. So that's the topic I'm speaking to you about. I can never run short because I've done tons of research about it for a couple of years. You can talk about losing weight, you can talk about cooking, you can bring your ideas to, to YouTube just by baking, making the tutorials of how you do the baking, cooking, whatnot, just on the table. Really, really practical things that you can start your YouTube channel with and never run out of ideas. That's what I'm talking about. I want you to know that you can start right there making your YouTube channel with that particular idea that that. But in the later videos to go, I will tell you how you will end out of doing that on YouTube. In this video, we're just going to go through the basics just for you to know why you should start a YouTube channel and how it can just be so easy with just your perfect idea. Step number two, before you start a YouTube channel, you get to see who is going to watch the YouTube videos and why they will watch them. What's in the video ideas that you are doing that's going to benefit those people? For example, the video that I'm doing now, I've done a whole research about this and I've seen the biggest need in PNG that not many Papua New Guineans are into online business, like for example, owning digital products, uh, having to stay at home and just own a business on their phone and treat it like a business, just like any offline business. So that's the difference. I've seen the market and I've seen the need. I've targeted an audience and who's gonna watch that. So before that, before making these videos I've done that research and then I've seen that I've seen the vastness and the capability there is in this topic so I began to put those topics into idea too step number three is you have to brainstorm brainstorming is the easiest part for the topic that you're passionate about whatever you want to talk about it you should never run out of ideas with it's no problem doing a brainstorming you can just brainstorm however you want to line up all the topics you want to talk about on YouTube or you want to do tutorials if you're not very sure and you're not very confident in front of a camera then you can just show your hands doing the actual thing or someone taking the video while you just do that do the activity so but as long as you're passionate about it you continue to do it so that's what it is you write down a brain brainstorm and write down at least 100 ideas of topics that you're going to make a video with and after writing down the 100 ideas you're going to narrow them down to the most effective ones or let's say the most uh, closest topics that you're going to focus on at the very beginning of your channel so you narrow them down into 10 very top key ideas that you the 10 big ideas that you have in mind you're still gonna break those 10 ideas down say for example i'm through the process of how you can start your online business but there are so many inside it that as I'm going, I will break down more and more. Like creating a YouTube channel, how you can get to the requirements, how you can do what's required by Google or 
YouTube to be able to be on the platform, all this and that, how you will earn, all of that, I've got it all covered. But it's going to take step by step. So you need to narrow it down and then stick to the first one and begin making the video on that first topic. So that's point number three. Break down all the ideas that you have brainstormed with. Step number four, you need to choose the equipment. Equipment, you really don't need a lot of expensive gear. You only need your phone, which I'm doing right now. I only use my phone to do these videos. And obviously, natural light is the best. There's so many professional video makers that do their videos so professionally. Of course, they have all their equipment and there's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. But to start with, you just need to go with what you have and your phone is the best. You have the natural light step number five you're going to decide on the filming and uploading schedule which i am still working on that particular step i am really working on it because it's it's really a challenge for me right now and i know it will be for you too so i just want to uh, break down what it's gonna take for you to encounter along that that process so in step number five you're gonna have to decide your filming days and times not really times but at least days and you're gonna schedule when you're gonna upload your videos if you want to upload videos like three times in a week maybe you can make videos on Mondays and Tuesdays and then upload on Wednesdays and Thursdays I don't know I'm just giving you an idea but having to stay at home and have things to do all around the house you have children as well and all this work work that's needed for you to do you need to come with come up with a schedule for me when I put a schedule to do the series of these videos, I want them done because there's a target I want to get out of this series of videos, which I am looking forward to hit the target. So I will do them regardless. Every single day, I have to make the videos. So scheduling and uploading times are very important. You program in your mind or even you can write it down on a pen and paper on your notebook or in your phone make a calendar and times of when you're gonna upload when you're gonna make videos that's gonna really really help so that's point number five step number six is creating your YouTube channel creating the, your YouTube channel is the easiest part as long as you have a Gmail account you log into the YouTube application on your phone using your Gmail account as soon as you get all the promptings in the application and go right into in, onto your youtube channel everyone who has a gmail account has a youtube channel you just log into the youtube application with your gmail account email address of course so that's a point number step number six step number seven is to design your banner and a description add a description right after you create the channel at the top of your banner, you want to write down or display a banner that represents your business. What your idea is, back to point number one. It's something that tells your story of what you're going to be doing on the platform. What you're going to be talking about. It will simply reflect you as a business owner or a YouTuber on YouTube platform. So creating a YouTube banner and writing a description in the description area is very very important that gives people or your viewers what to expect every time they come because every time they go on to youtube people go on to youtube they want to find out who this person is and what they do so if they if they go there and don't even see what it is about they will leave the channel or leave the platform unless if your content is very engaging they will stay there and watch what you're producing so that's the importance of a youtube banner and a dis description youtube channel banner and a description step number eight is to film your first video step number eight is just filming your step first video you just do you in episode one i've spoken about just being real if you don't know something work alone as you go you perfect things the internet is so vast anybody can learn anything that is out of the ordinary no one wants to do something extraordinary to bring to the market just start your first video it can be just two seconds all you have to do is start so that you get to get be confident or if you're already confident in a camera or video just start your video it's simple as that 
That's step number eight. Step number nine is to edit your video and thumbnail. Thumbnail is very important. Editing and thumbnail, I'm working on it right now. They're not very good. If you look through my channel, you will see that I do all these editing and thumbnails all by myself. And I'm not very expert at it, but I'm getting there. And I'm hoping that my editing skills will get better. But it's very important in terms of search engines. Those titles that make up the thumbnail and the editing part of your video plays a huge role in your videos on the YouTube channel. So take your time to edit your videos nicely and also do a good thumbnail. Write your topics, maybe bold them and or capitals. I don't know what you do, but those are very important things is just running through all the biggest tips that anyone can start doing you don't need to perfect everything at the start because the thing about youtube you can go again next year and review all the videos that you did this year and perfect them with the new video and tell your viewers guys the video i did in the last year was just really this and this and that so i'm trying to make a new one so that's just simple as that start there and perfect the secret number 10 is uploading your first video uploading your first video is the biggest start you just upload it however you are edited it whatever you have done upload it that is the beginning of bringing light to your channel bringing engagement to your channel in the next videos i will talk about uh, editing and also talk about keywords and all this and that those will help you uh, rank in search engines on the google platform as well as youtube platform but this is just a basic to run through of how you can own a youtube channel and kick start right away then we will go into the deep parts or the more and more explanation what to do next and that but starting to do your video uploading it is the first step and if you're at that point right now to begin start even which is the last one of course is like comment and share your video don't be too lazy to be the first one to go and watch your own video it takes a while for people to gain the trust that you're releasing something that is worth let's say you really need to Present the information that engages them, makes them think that you are going to be this or that. So, or you are doing this that's going to benefit them. So the first thing you do is you go ahead and like your video or, and watch it. See how it is and you get to see your mistakes. If there's mistakes in there, if you have done this and that. Because the first video when someone sees it and they come to review it or you want their honest opinion, they will say, oh, this, this and that. And then without you even watching to see what is not right there so that's the first point you go and watch it and you also leave a comment after watching it oh guys this is this and that i've done this or it's not like this and you know all those kind of things if you don't want to leave a comment just watch it to be aware of what's going to come back to you in that way you at a better position to approach the people or the critic or whatever that is coming your way concerning your channel and your video the next one is to sh share it and that's the best part people won't know if you're starting people won't know if you're starting share your video with family friends relatives whoever you have come across and you think that are gonna value some something or get a value out of your video share your channel with them share your video with them go to groups especially on facebook go to the uh, groups type like small youtubers all this and you type that you will see there's tons of them and you request to join in those groups request to join when you get approved you don't go ahead straight and start first of all when i get into a group i comment i engage in all the conversations if not all some and i, I try to interact with like-minded people in that way people see you people begin to see and uh, know who you are and then when you begin to bring what you have to the to the market they will already know they already know what you are doing they already seen that oh you are you are doing this they're doing that and there is really no problem for you to do that but it's the best thing it's the best way to start getting your first views and first subscribers so guys this is just basic run through of how you can start your online business with a youtube channel starting from just scratch it's very beginner friendly so i hope that you have gained some value out of watching this video and i'm keeping as much as possible i'm keeping them short so that i can continue to the next topic or next episode and take you on this journey until we finish the whole process of 
whatever the business uh, online business ideas that I think that any Papua New Guinean can start especially free without additional expenses or without having to spend some money up front so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i i hope you taken value out of it and please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell so every time i upload a new video you get to watch it to be updated to follow in this journey of owning your own your very own online business and i hope you are blessed I'm blessed to be doing all this. It makes me happy. It gives me the joy to at least inspire someone to be something, somebody, and create something for themselves, have the guts, have the confidence in themselves, and appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.